the MIAA is just kind of where everybody wants to compete. It's you know not a Division One level. We've got I think the toughest Division Two conference in the nation. You know we've got plenty of people that we're competing against who are at that D1 level or professional level for that matter. And uh, but they're here, and so it makes a great environment for competition. I've like never like experienced like going to nationals, and I just I want to get there so bad. Like. I'm trying to do so many things to where like nothing will get in the way of me going to nationals. Like it's just a dream I've had and I, after this like it is my fifth year and it's like sad that it's my last year but I like don't want to leave here. Like I want to come back and like practice, like go do the hard workouts again. Like it's just, I love it. Like it's just fun. In the 200, so that's my only open event that I have by myself. I really want to break 24. I've been running, I ran 25.08 and 25.1 like consistently. And I really just want to break 25 and run 24 something. I don't even care, 24.9. Um, but the most exciting thing, which is surprising for me to say, is the 4x4. I'm really excited for us to run that because we kind of have a chance to go to nationals. It's just really exciting to run with the girls and just be there together and run fast for each other and together. This season has been a little bit different. Typically in the past, I've hit my stride really early and just continued that stride. I found that this season we started off a little slower, but to me that's pretty encouraging because like I said, I've peaked early in the past and then come conference and nationals, I didn't see the marks I wanted. So I'm, I'm hoping that this year by starting a little slower, we're gonna peak at the right time for conference and nationals. Experience is gonna help me a lot, like stay calm and relaxed and like know um, where to be, when to be and how to um, adapt to that environment because it's definitely going to be more of a hype, um, team-oriented environment, celebrating your team, but also being focused when it comes to your event and doing what your coaches have told you and how they, you can adapt to the coaching. So I've been there in that experience to understand like that pressure that's on my shoulders, but also to be able to help underclassmen through that and compete at this high level in such a crowded facility. It'll be a good atmosphere. It starts with confidence and like the mindset you have, like getting up on that runway, like. It's a feeling like nobody could ever like describe and just knowing that like you're there for a reason, like the coaches are behind you 100% of the time, like they know they what you can do and it's just like setting high expectations and goals for yourself that you know that you can hit to where you can help the team out. I think the best part about conference is having the feeling of the hay is in the barn mentality. You know, all the hard work is done. All there's left to do is just make the small adjustments and show up with a smile and compete your best. Some of us are at peak, some of us are running really fast right now, so I think honestly it'll be a like surprise for everyone when we go compete this weekend, or at least I'm hoping so. And um, I just think we're all just going to go out there and run fast, be confident, um, talk to each other, give each other our confidence. I think that's... Um, what's important for this weekend. I think that we've got a lot of talent and I think that you know we, we can show that here at this conference. I think that we can prove it. I hope that we really just uh, leave it all out there. Uh, there's a lot of uh, wariness about our ranking maybe coming into the weekend, but we have performed well and individually and as a team, like all our good marks are gonna come together and help us uh, score high as a team. And I think we can really prove to the conference that we deserve to be here.